America's West is burning with flames sparked by climate change and a century of misguided fires. In California, wildfires have blackened more than 3 million hectares. In Oregon, a once-in-a-generation crisis has forced half a million people from their homes. Meanwhile, one of our most prized allies of firefighting remains neglected, and that is, beavers. A new study concludes that, by building dams, forming ponds, and digging canals, beavers irrigate extensive river corridors and create fire-resistant shelters where plants and animals can take shelter. In some cases, rodent engineering can even stop fires in their tracks. For decades, scientists have recognized that the North American beaver, Castor canadensis, provides many ecological benefits throughout its territory from northern Mexico to Alaska. Beaver ponds and wetlands have been shown to filter water pollution, support salmon, sequester carbon and reduce flooding. Researchers have long suspected that these paddle-tailed architects offered another important service. And that is slowing the spread of fire. After the Sharps fire scorched 65,000 acres in Idaho in 2018, for example, Wheaton found pockets of lush green gleaming inside the burned zone beaver wetlands that have survived the blaze. However, no scientist has ever studied this phenomenon carefully. Inspired in part by Wheaton's observations, Fairfax and colleague Andrew Whittle selected the massive wildfires that had occurred since 2000 in five U.S. states, California, Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, and Wyoming, and scoured satellite imagery for beaver dams and ponds nearby. Then, using a statistical measure of plant health, they calculated the fertility of the surrounding vegetation before, during, and after a fire. Unsurprisingly, plants that thrive and irrigate well tend to appear bright green in satellite photos, while dry plants appear relatively brown. Green and hydrated plants, fire tan. Of course, it is also less flammable than dry, crunchy plants. And that's what makes the beaver ecosystem so vigorous. In the part of the river that the beavers dammed, according to Fairfax and Whittle, vegetation remained more than three times more fertile when the fires hit the creek. The beavers have filled the valley so thoroughly that the plants do not light up. These lifeboats don't just protect the beavers themselves. The vast zoo including amphibians, reptiles, birds and small mammals is likely to squat in the beavers' fire shelters, Fairfax said. Although wildfires are a vital force that rejuvenates the habitats of some creatures, such as the black back woodpecker, they can destroy populations of other animals. The habitat of beavers also protects domestic livestock and agricultural land, added Fairfax, whose study was published this month in Ecology Applications. In addition, beavers can help restore ecosystems from forest fires. In northern Washington state, Alexa Whipple, director of the Beaver Methow Project, found that beavers promote the restoration of native species, such as the willow and aspen. In contrast, rivers without beavers are more likely to colonize invasive plants after burning. Whipple also found that beaver ponds improve water quality by trapping phosphorus lot and sediment flowing from burning hillsides. Despite all the good that beavers do, thousands of people are killed every year for flooding roads, cutting down trees, and causing other damage to human property. Adopting smarter and more humane policies using non-lethal flood prevention tools like beaver deceivers for example, and relocating the individuals who are causing trouble instead of killing them, can restore our relationship to beavers and wildfires, Fairfax said.